everybody. So I came across this journal yesterday and I made it quite some time ago because it was at the other house and my art room was still in the basement. I do remember that. I don't really remember making the album. I do remember doing some of the pages inside. But it has been probably somewhere around 10 years. Time sure does go fast. <laughs> but I love, like I flipped through it. I know it sounds conceited to say I love what's in there, but I mean, it's stuff that I haven't done in a while. And I like the style of what I've done. Like I remember this, there was a, a model or an image of a woman that I found somewhere. And I just loved her. So I did her, but in my quirky style. Because I just loved her pose and just her. She was just awesome. So I remember doing her. I don't really remember doing this one. And I remember doing this. And I remember finding this quote so funny. The dog says, if you want the ball, why do you keep throwing it? <laughs> But anyway, and I love these little, like I have them throughout the book. Just these little flaps. So, but I love how, like I would have done this first and cut it out. And then I had to figure out what to put on the other side. And I love what I did on the other side, probably more than the space. But... I just, I like that little challenge part of it. So there's not much done in this album. Like, this isn't even finished. And I skipped that part. And I actually don't do these faces as easily as I used to be able to. Like, it's been a long time. So last night, I had other plans to do something. I thought, no, I want to play in this journal because I want this journal to become a habit because I would love to see all these pages done. So I did a face. <laughs> it, I don't hate it, but it's not, it's not as good as what I could do. I don't know, but I do still like it, and I don't know if it's done yet. I may go back in and do more. I'm, I'm not sure. But his face looked to me like he was skeptical, so I just wrote the word skeptical there. So now I thought for the YouTube video I would work on this flat. And I have the idea that I want to do a fish. And do a fish on this side, and then I'm going to cut it out. And then I'll figure out what I'll do on this side. I already thought, well, I could do a bird with it, like where this, where his tail is here. On the other side, maybe it could be like a be like a bird with its head up. So I don't know. We're gonna do it anyway. So I have to turn it this way. It's maybe a bit awkward to work on, especially for a video. So one thing. I do remember how I would do these. And I remember doing, I think I did a canvas or something once, or maybe it was just a big piece of paper. Because it's how I did, I don't see it anywhere to pull it out. But I did a couple faces, and one was like, all she wanted was a donkey. Because you know my little obsession with donkeys. And I'm pretty sure how I did them. Well, I know how. I started with watercolor. And then I would go over it with um, pencil. And I really like that style. So if I like it so much, why did I stop doing it? 
So I'm going to give that a go. Um, I have some Jane Davenport watercolors. I don't know if she still makes this exact set anymore. I don't think there's... Okay, this one's her Bright palette. Or this was years ago. Like, I got it at Michael's. Michael's doesn't even carry any Jane Davenport or anything that I really like anymore. And this is her Neutral palette. I don't use the Neutral one as much, though there are some good colors in there. But the Brights, I love. So I'll probably use those. And this is one that I just made myself, like it came with the pans and you fill it with paint. And I'm not sure of the brand, but these six here are, it's a good brand. Um, oh, Daniel Smith. And I'm not sure what this is. Probably just some cheap brand. I'm not sure. And then these are gouaches. Again, probably a cheap brand. So, I may pick some colors from there. Who knows what I'll do. So, I've sketched out a fish, and I'm just going to add some watercolor to it. And one thing I remembered while I was trying to do the face last night, like I've said about, you know, painting with acrylics, don't worry about the first layers because seldom does it look good. And with watercolor as well, even more so than acrylics I find, you need to have a lot of patience. A lot. And you need to let layers dry if you're trying to build build upon the layers. I have no idea what I'm going for, like color wise, so I'm just going to play and see what happens. And of course, I'm not going for realistic here. That is boring. I'm just dropping some watercolor in here. Keeping my brush nice and wet for now, anyway. say of all the watercolors like I don't even really know what using the Daniel Smith watercolors are like because I haven't really played with them I bought them for a course I believe I think her name is Sandy Alnock and I bought it ages ago like years and years and years and I haven't done it Still have not done the course. Paid for it, but have not touched it. Done that a few times. And by artists I absolutely love. Like Deb Weirs. I think that's how you say her last name. Um, even that guy I was mentioning the other day, Louis Rosignol. I have not done them. And I absolutely adore their art. I still haven't done the classes. And I don't want to paint or, you know, do things just like them because, I mean, it would be fabulous to create what they create. But then I wouldn't be me. As much as I love their art, I don't want to be 
somebody else. Like it's fine to do it for practice and just for playing. But it's not how I want to create all the time because then I'm just copying. I'm sure I will do some sort of copying in order to learn and then take from it what I like and what works for me. Anyways, kind of getting off topic. The whole point was I purchased classes and I ended up either starting them and forgetting about them or not, <clears throat> excuse me, or not even starting them at all. That's why I stopped purchasing a lot of classes, though I did buy one recently. Um, Kristen Powers, Kristen Peterson, and Christina Powers, Soul Positive. Pretty sure her last name is Powers. All right, I don't know. But you'll know who I'm talking about by me saying Soul Positive. Sweet, sweet woman. Anyways, the two of them put together a course creating mini albums. Now I've even made the albums, I just haven't played inside them and I keep forgetting to post it. I feel like I'm just babbling. <laughs> I feel like it all started with a purpose, like what I was saying, but it's gone now. So we'll just call it babbles. This is kind of fun. So I'm going to have to let this dry before I can move on. And I painted this blue, that's Payne's Gray acrylic paint. I painted that when I did the background on this because I still had some paint out. So I thought I would paint that while I had it out. I didn't paint this up here because that's going to be cut off. So I'm going to let that dry before I go in and do the eye and do anything else with it. So the first layer has dried. I also have, I've had these for quite some time. I think it was a Christmas gift, maybe. They're Derwent Ink Tense Pencils and they are fabulous. So once I get a base layer of watercolor down, sometimes I like to go in, <coughs> excuse me, sometimes I like to go in with Inktense pencils after and just, sometimes it may even be hard to pick up on camera, but when you get a good look. It just creates layers. And it's a good way to add some shading. I like to use it in this way anyways. I just want to see if I want to wet it. Yeah. Hmm. 
I'm not going to do too much with these because I'm going to go in with water, um, not watercolor, with pencils after. And that's where I will do most of shading <clears throat> and adding little bits of detail. But I thought I would use these for maybe adding some more color, like some different colors. I feel like I want to add pink. And I may just do it by circling some of these. Sorry for the sniffling and little bits of coughing. I've been fighting a cold. It hasn't been bad, it's just been <clears throat> it's been weeks. One day I feel fine, and the next day I feel like I'm getting sick, but I think I've been pretty decent the last few days, so maybe it's going away. <clears throat> maybe. Fingers crossed. I want more vibrant pink. I may have to go in with um, acrylic paint or something after. Oh, that one showed up a bit nicer. Ooh, I got rid of my green and blue. This one has a beautiful pink in it. Going back to the Jane Davenport brights. the way it was looking already. There we go. I love this pink. This color is called Best Friend <laughs> in the brights. If I could only paint from, although you would need different colors in this because you would need some neutrals, but other than neutrals, maybe if I could only have one set of like colors in watercolor, I think I would choose these Jane Davenport Brights. I just love them so much. I don't think I'm going to use the pencils because these are working out much better. I'm getting more of the color that I want.
Okay, this is fun. Not my sense, silly, but I'm loving that. <laughs> I thought that was black, but it's not. It's a really dark blue. It's called ink. I think I'm going to add, and I just ever so lightly, like barely. Barely touching the paper. It just, oh. Just love the way that the paint just bleeds in with the other. I don't have my brush too wet for this because this is already wet. Like I said, I'm just so lightly. See, this one is almost dry, so it's not working as well. But when it's wet, it does some beautiful bleeding. And this is probably already dry. Yep. Yeah, I love these colors. So if this set still exists <clears throat> and you like watercolor, I really recommend these brights. Colors are beautiful. Okay, so again, it's time to let that dry. Okay, the paint is dry. Oh, I forgot to put away one of my Eaton's pencils. Uh, so now I'm going to go in with some Prismacolor pencils. And this is just mostly to add a little dimension. And sometimes just a little bit of detail. I just like the look of the pencil lines against the watercolor. And again, like I said, I don't know how well you will see it in the video. But it is there. Try zooming in more. I'm always afraid to zoom in too much because I'm afraid I'll get caught up in what I'm doing and forget to check the camera <laughs> and you're not even seeing what I'm doing.
just love the pink against the blues and greens.
feel like here I want more. This is just a colorless blender. I am done. Okay, I'm going to put away my pencils. But here is my fish. I like him. So now I'm going to cut it out. I'm going to try scissors first, but I may have to use a knife. as well.
Have fun. And there's my fish. I love the little guy. <laughs> Not all the white will show up because sometimes it like absorbs the um, the paint to the watercolor. I don't want too much anyway. And that is it. So the next video, I will try and figure out something for the other side. Thanks for watching. Thanks so much for stopping by. Let me know if you like my videos by leaving me a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can also head over to my Instagram account and say hi to me over there. If you have any video requests, leave a comment down below and I'll see what I can do. And don't forget to check out my other videos.